Hey crew, what's up? Jonathan Hinshaw here with Revenue Love. So I wanted to make a quick video for you guys because I saw a couple things going around Facebook today and a couple of questions that people have asked me directly. And there's uh, this, this everybody's kind of having problems right now. They're having, in, in this stage, I guess in life, business, communities, there's a lot of problems. People are running into issues, problems, opportunities, and some people are getting really frustrated. I've even heard some people say, I just want to quit. You know, I don't know that I want to do this anymore. The number one problem that business owners have, this is personal and business. This, this might be happening in your marriage, uh, your life, your relationships, your business. This is the one thing that, that sort of just, it's a line that goes through everything you touch. And that's the thought or the belief, the false belief that, you're not supposed to have problems, <laughs> right? Like the number one problem business owners have is thinking that they shouldn't have one, you know? Uh, people get married or they start a relationship and then the problems happen and they're like, oh, this is uncomfortable, I don't like this. What happened to the honeymoon, right? I've been married 17 years. I can tell you there's a lot of problems <laughs> that happen. Sometimes we create them, sometimes they happen to us. In business, when I had Ebway Creative, a full service digital agency, 15 years, you're going to run into problems. Trust me, no matter what you do, no matter how good you are, no matter how amazing you treat people, you're the bad guy in somebody's story. You just are. You just are. It might not even have anything to do with you. It might not even be your fault. But you are the bad guy in somebody's story. That's okay. Who cares? There's plenty more fish in the sea. So when you're looking at problems, when you're going, man, I, I don't know about this. The big thing to remember, the big thing you need to do is find out your why. Why are you doing this? Why are you putting yourself through creating a business? Why are you not just working for somebody else? Why are you taking all the responsibility to grow a company? Why are you taking everything onto your own shoulders? Why? And your why can't be money. It can't be to make more money. If you do that, you've already failed. So the big thing that you've got to remember is why. So all of you, I want you to go tonight. I want you to sit down with a piece of paper, get away from the computer, and I want you to write at the top of that piece of paper, why am I doing this, right? Why am I here? You want to get real personal? Do one for your business, do one for your relationship. Why am I in this relationship? What, what do I want out of this? Because we all have needs, right? What do I want out of this relationship? What do I want out of this business? It could be an emotional want. It could be a change in, in behavior want, right? Uh, whatever it is, you need to find your why. That's the thing that will carry you through during the tough times. I'm not saying don't quit. I'm not saying that you know somebody doesn't have a business out there that's not working and they need to switch lanes. I'm just saying you need to find your why and that will carry you through to what you really should be doing. That's it. Now go sell something.